Hi and welcome to your virtual class. I am Teacher Julie. At the end of this presentation, you're going to use compound sentences to show cause and effect. Look at the picture. What do you think the boy is doing? The boy is sleeping. Why do you think the boy looks sleepy? He must be tired. At the end of this presentation, we are expected to use compound sentences to show cause and effect. Let us study the sentence. Let us read all together. The product was rated poorly because it was below the standard. What happened? The product was rated poorly. That is the effect. Why did it happen? It was below the standard. That is the cause. According to structure, what kind of sentence is the sentence above? The sentence is an example of a compound sentence. Here is another sentence to study. Let's read it together. The guest stopped talking when the president entered the hall. What happened? The guest stopped talking. That is the effect. Why did it happen? The president entered the hall. That is the cause. Again, what kind of sentence according to structure? The sentence is a compound sentence. Compound sentences are made up of two simple sentences connected by a coordinating conjunction. These conjunctions are also known as fanboys. F is for, A is and, N is nor, B is but, O is or, Y is yet, and S for so. Connectors such as because, for this reason, that is why, so, therefore, for, and since can be used to show cause and effect relationships. A cause and effect relationship describes something that happens and explains why it happens. The effect tells us what happens. The cause tells us why it happens. Compound sentences show cause and effect relationship. Here is another example. Let's read it together. My daughter got sick, so we had to cancel our trip. What is the cause? My daughter got sick. That is the cause. What is the effect? We had to cancel our trip. That is the effect. The cause and the effect were joined together by a conjunction so. These two sentences were connected with conjunction so to form a compound sentence. Now let's do this simple activity. Let us match the cause to its effect. You write the correct letter on the line. I will give you enough time to answer and if you have questions, kindly ask your teacher for help. Your time starts now!
Now it's time to check your answers. Do we have the same answers? Number 1 is letter C, 2 is E, 3 is H, 4 is F, 5 is B, 6 is G, 7 is J, 8 is A, 9 is I, and 10 D. If you got the passing score, then you did a great job. If not, still congratulations for doing your best. That ends our presentation. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching!